What's going on you guys and welcome back to another LumaFusion tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to make the RGB split effect and I'm also going to show you how you make this in a new project and also how you can apply this to an existing project. Let's say if you have a project and uh, you have a sequence in there, you have a couple of clips and you're thinking like, darn, I wish I could apply some RGB effect here and uh, I, I don't really know how to do it. Well, that's what we're going to do in this video. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that as well. But first, I want to say thank you so much for all the massive support that you have been pushing out to this uh, channel lately, especially the couple of weeks has been insane. And I'm so grateful for all the comments, all the likes, all the shares and everything that you do to help me grow on this uh, channel. And uh, it's just insane. I just want to thank you so much for all, all the insane support you guys have been pushing out towards this channel. Now with that said, let's jump over to LumaFusion and dive into these projects so I can show you exactly how you make this RGB effect. <laughs> So once we get over to the iPad and into LumaFusion here, you can see that we have a clip imported to the timeline already. Now this is the clip that we're going to work on for this tutorial and the most crucial part and the most important part about making this effect is that you color grade your footage before you try to add this effect. Because after you apply this effect, the color grading part will be extremely hard and basically ungradable. So I'm going to prepare two sides of this clip now, one which is graded and then we apply the effect after and one which is not graded and then we try to apply the grading afterwards. So the first thing we're going to do to the graded footage here is to simply go into edit and make sure that you have everything graded before you start to apply this effect. Now once you have your footage graded, you're simply going to duplicate this two times so you have three of the same clip, just like that. Now I'm going to prepare the next one here as well. And uh, I'm just going to remove the color grading here on both of these. And duplicate and place above. And duplicate and place above. So now we have one which is not graded and we have one which is graded. Let's start with the uh, graded first. Now what you're going to do is to simply go into edit on the clip which is on top on track number three. Then you're going to go into your original color preset. And if you haven't added one, make sure that you add one and put it underneath your LUT. The reason why you have the LUT above the original color correction is simply because you want the LUT to control the colors. If you have the original above, that means you control the colors of the LUT as well. And in this case, we want the LUT to control the colors. Now, once you have the original apply, you're going to go into uh, the original here and we're going to go down to see we're going to go down to tint and change the tint to red we're also going to go over to frame and fit here and then go down to blending and choose blending screen now we're going to do that with the next one here as well we're going to go to the middle clip which is on track number two into edit over to frame and fit blending choose screen then over to color and effects, make sure that you have the original color pre preset applied and we're going to go into that. Go down to tint and change the tint to blue. Next one is the last one here and which is on the bottom. So we're going to go into edit on that as well. And we're going to go over to color and effects, then over to original, down to the bottom and choose green. Now, once we selected the color green, we do not have to go into frame and fit and choose a blending screen because this is the bottom layer. So this can stay as normal. And now we can see that we have the same output as we started with and the colors are back to normal. The next thing you're going to do is to simply go into the top clip here and we're going to take the position X or Y, depending on how you want it to look. So if we take position Y, you will take it up and down. If we take position X, you will take it to either one of the sides. So what we're going to do is to take this position X and just take it to uh, plus 1.2. So it goes to the right. We're going to go to the middle one here, which is the blue color and take it to minus 1.2, which is the opposite side. 
So now you will have the RGB effect applied to your video here or your photo, depending on what you have in the uh, project. So here you can see that we also maintain the colors. But let's move over to this one. Now we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to go to color and effects, go to original, just apply that. And that we're going to choose red on the first. Then we're going to go to blend. We're going to choose screen. We're going to do the same with the middle one. This is going to be the blue. Just going to change it to screen here on the blending. Go down to the bottom, select blue. And on the last clip here, which is on the bottom, we're going to go to original down to the bottom and choose green. So you can see this is back to the same color as we had to begin with. Now, if you're going to try to color grade this, it's going to be extremely hard. Now let's try to apply just a basic LUT here. So we're going to apply the masterclass LUT and it looks fairly bad. And then we're going to go over to the next one here and we're going to apply the same LUT and the top one here and the same LUT. So now this is what happens if you try to color grade and apply the LUTs to the footage after or before you actually color graded the footage and be before you apply the effect. So if you color grade your footage first, you will maintain the colors in your footage. And if you color grade after, it will just look like this. So if we try to put the LUTs here on top of the original, we're gonna do that with the next one as well. Just put the LUT above and put the LUT above this one as well can see that we get some of the colors back but it's not really huge it's not really the intensity of the colors which we have in this one so what we can try to do is also to go into the original here and we can try to play around with the different settings to to color grade it and to make it as we want but I highly recommend that you color grade everything first before you apply this effect. You can probably create a, a really good color grading doing this as well, but it takes so much time and effort to actually color grade this. And that means you will have to do the same color grading on every single clip here if you don't color grade the footage first. So to make this extremely good, I will probably spend 30 minutes, an hour, maybe more just to figure out what type of colors to add and so on. But since I applied the color correction to this and the LUTs and all of that to begin with on the first clip here, before I duplicated everything, I managed to get a really proper RGB look to the video. Now, what I'm gonna do now is to actually show you how you can add this to an existing project. So we're gonna move over to another project here and uh, I've already added this to to this project here. So what I'm gonna do is to simply go back to the uh, the way it was, uh, but uh, the bottom one is gonna stay on green anyway, so we can, we can have that at green. Uh, what I'm gonna do now, since this is an existing project, I just uh, look through the greenness here, and um, I'm simply gonna duplicate this two more times. So the top one is going to be red. I'm gonna go over to the original here, choose red and I'm gonna go over to frame and fit here and change this to screen this is screen the next one here is going to be blue make sure that this is screen and select the original here and choose blue so we're now back to the main colors here just gonna take a look at the last one here and make sure that this is set to normal this is screen so we're gonna pull that back to normal and we now have the same RGB effect applied to this. So what we can do now, since this has keyframes in it, is to go through every single keyframe here and adding that glitch effect or the position changes so we get this kind of glitch or the RGB effect. So what I'm gonna do now is to go through every single keyframe here and then we're gonna come back to the video afterwards so we can see how uh, it looks after we applied the uh, the changes
So once we apply the uh, changes to every single keyframe here, you can see once we go through that we have the RGB effect to the entire section here. So we have the RGB coming in right here and then it stops right here. And if you want to apply this uh, super fast to, um, to your uh, videos and you don't want to to do this with uh, uh, every single clip or specific clips or you want to have the RGB applied to your entire project, uh, you can do uh, just like I did in this video right here. And uh, this is also the one that you saw in the intro. So we have the RGB coming in here and we have the RGB on the entire video here. And what I did was to apply the same effect and the same method which we've done here but to the entire sequence. So what I did was to render it out and then duplicate it two times. So we end up with three clips just like this. And then I applied the changes just like we did here to the three clips here. And I had the RGB split effect to the entire video. Now at the beginning here, you can also see that we have the uh, shake here. This is uh, the same method applied to the text. And this is also the uh, uh, camera shake pack, which you can find on Selfie if you're interested in this camera shake pack. I simply just apply them to the text and uh, we instantly got the shake effect. And I also played around with the different uh, uh, positions here on the, uh, on the keyframes, just like we did in the previous example here. And we got this amazing shake RGB effect to the text as well. So there you have the RGB split effect made in Luma Fusion. Now, I really want to see how you utilize this RGB split for your videos by adding, maybe if you have the uh, camera shake pack, which I have on Selfie, I really want to see how you utilize this uh, RGB split effect in your videos or your Instagram posts. This is an easy way of, um, of you know, if you import a photo to Luma Fusion, you can easily create an RGB look to the photo to apply to Instagram as well. You can just add the effect and take a snapshot and uh, you have a cool looking image as well. Now, let me know in the uh, comment section below if you like this video and if you want to see more videos like this, make sure that you are subscribed and uh, let me know once you upload your posts to Instagram by tagging me and I love to check those out as well. So until next time, stay safe and uh, wash your hands and all of that and I'll see you guys in the next video.